So since it could not drain and filter how it usually does, it came a little bit through the ceiling. Uh, the building is secure, but the fire department has determined that the, the family should not stay in the building until tomorrow morning. This cell phone video is from a resident on the first floor who tried to salvage what he could, but Malvin Furman is worried about all this damage. The kitchen, the room, some go the living room, but it's, it's pretty bad. And Mary Ella Dupree is expecting a baby this month. She was able to retrieve some of her belongings, but doesn't know when she can go back home. I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm having construction right now. I don't know what's going to happen with all the things on my baby inside. I'm very worried. I have a, another little girl. And Mariella Dupree and so many others are staying with family members. Um, other people have been provided emergency temporary shelter for the night at least. And structural engineers will be back on the scene to tomorrow to determine if and when it is safe for those residents to return here. We are live in West New York, New Jersey. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Kitey. Yeah, it is worrisome, especially since Craig is saying this could continue for another couple of days. Thank you for that, McGee.